Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm Lincoln and today we're going to go to Nomad. I'm going to show you how to deal with the scale issues that Nomad can create when you bring in larger objects into your scene and the grid changes size on you. And this is what I mean. So let's get into it. You take a look at your grid and as it is right now, I don't know if you guys know this, but if we were to delete this and we were to add a cube, this is a one millimeter cube. So that means right now your grid has broken itself down to one tenth of one millimeter because you have 10 little squares in here. Well, each direction. So to understand what's going to happen when we bring a bigger object in, we'll scale out a little bit and you'll see the grid is pretty small, right? It's encompassing our one millimeter cube. So let's add a much larger thing. And this is something my daughter wants me to make that's off of my mini factory and I'll provide the link to the file if you if you like but you can see here I've brought in something very big and that little tiny cube right there is our original one millimeter cube so now you have to question what scale are we in because there's something obviously in Nomad with the algorithm when you bring something in it's like hey we need to absorb and make this grid larger to encompass our new file size. So, not a big deal, it's just confusing because now suddenly we've gone from one tenth of a millimeter to something else. So, I'm gonna have a link to this tool I created in Tinkercad to make this a little bit easier for you. So, let's go and add this to the scene. So what this is, is a scale in three directions and three axes and I have it set to where the little green cube that's in there that's not always in here that's just added in so this we can just get rid of that real quick this was what you would have right here is the grid and let's paint it a color to make it a little bit easier to see yeah, something like that maybe and so now you can see there's a little bit of something else going on there you can see all the numbers on it now this is a millimeter scale. So each one of the little lines is one millimeter and each 10 obviously is a centimeter. So what you see now, once we've brought in this bigger file, we've gone from 10th of a millimeter to a centimeter grid. So it's a big change and with nothing in Nomad really explaining what's going on and how this has happened, it makes it hard to scale things accurately or quickly because you're having to use the measure tool and this will just make it a lot easier. So I'll have the link below for my Gumroad channel where you can pick this up. Let's grab this, bring the file over. Yeah, let's see. Let's make that snap. I'll change that back to 90. Okay. So if you snap this down, now it's a lot easier now that you at least and you don't even have to use this to scale all the time. I mean, now that you know that your scale is in centimeters, it makes it a lot easier to deal with. But there's nothing that I've found anyway, and someone may be able to correct me, but I haven't found anything that tells you accurately anywhere what scale you're in once you bring something in, because the grid doesn't tell you. And this isn't like the CAD program, like if you do the same thing in, in Tinkercad, where I created the scale, if you bring a larger file in, the work plane is going to stay the same size. It doesn't change scale on you. So this will just help you if you're struggling with trying to bring objects in. And you want to scale them to a size, you know, so this one would be pretty easy to get, you know, roughly a uh, 10 centimeter tall part. So that looks pretty good. That's about right. And that's about what the size I wanted to make uh, for my... 3D printer for my resin printer. All right, I hope this clears up some of the confusion with Nomad Sculpt. I know it's a little, it can be a little awkward because you bring a larger file in and all of a sudden your scale and grid is a totally different size. So this may help explain what's going on and this will also help you get at least a reference of what's going on and what size you're working in. So go to my Gumroad page, download this file, I'll have it ready for you guys. All right. Remember, if you guys are liking these videos, please like and subscribe. All right. I'll see you next time. Thanks.